Hey guys, this is Editors Depot and you're watching another intro template tutorial. This is for Blender and guys, if you have any questions or concerns, leave them down in the comment section. We'll always reply to your comment guaranteed and there's always very friendly people that will probably get back to you before we can. If you have any trouble making customizations to your templates guys, just visit EditorsDepot.com. We have very affordable, very easy to use customization options there for all of you. All you have to do is tell us what you want and we will do it at your request. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is actually download the software and whether you're on Windows or Mac, it is completely free and open source. So you can actually just download this right now absolutely free. Now the next step after installing the software is actually just opening up the file. So you're going to go ahead and open the program, go to file, open and go to your desktop where it's probably going to be downloaded. Go ahead and visit the downloads folder of your computer and open up the program in which it was downloaded. Ours was here and it was untitled to slash blend. You're going to select that and before opening it, you untick load UI. This is going to give you your default panel, sorry, the default interface that you're going to need to make any changes. Here it is guys, now you're going to go ahead and actually start making any changes you wish. Now to modify the text, all you're going to do is right click the actual text itself and then hit the tab key. Once you do so, you're going to get a little rectangle here on the side and you're going to be able to delete text there. You're going to go ahead and write whatever you want and we're going to write Editors Depot for short ED. Then you hit the tab key once more and you do the same thing for the text behind it. Usually there will be two text layers. You right click that, you hit the tab key and you delete the text and you do the exact same thing. Now once that is completely done, you're going to go ahead and bring this over to the left side if you want to get more visibility here. You go to the F icon and then you scroll down to where it says font. You're going to go ahead and find that. Here it says font. You're going to go ahead and find the first font selected here. You click on this button here that will actually allow you to select any font you wish. So now what you do here is locate your fonts folder on Mac. You should be able to scroll down to the name of your computer, then select library, fonts, and there you should find all of your installed fonts. For Windows, all you have to do is go to your C drive, then you visit Windows, and then locate the folder named fonts. That's all you have to do to change your font. So we're pretty much done making all the changes we wanted to make to the text, but there's one more thing we want to change. In case you want to make any changes to the color, all you're going to want to do is select this little circle icon here. And then here you're going to be prompted with a bunch of options. Now don't be scared guys. All you have to do is select the text layers that you want to modify by going through this little thing here, this little library. And you're going to select the text layer that you want to modify and you go ahead and click on the color that you see and you change the color there. It's that simple guys. That's all you have to do. And that pretty much summarizes the tutorial for today. Just remember that the color here is not the only color you have to modify. There's other text layers and there's other objects that there might be included on the intro template. Last but not least guys is our render. All you're going to want to do is come to this camera icon here and scroll down to where it says output. Now you're going to want to make sure you take this folder here and it's going to prompt you with a box of where you want to save it. I'm going to locate my desktop and actually name it template. I'm going to go ahead and save that and then I'm going to come down where it says H.264. Guys you want to make sure you save this as H.264. Then you come down to encoding, you can modify anything you wish, but I recommend you guys just keep it at H.264. You can also select QuickTime for all of the Mac users out there who enjoy that. Just remember to bring the quality all the way up because you want the best template possible. Unless you want to bring it down for a little bit and actually increase your render speed. Now once you're done with that guys, all you have to do is come to render and click render animation. Or you can simply scroll up and tick this box here and your render will begin. This pretty much summarizes our tutorial guys, so I hope you all enjoyed this video. And remember if you did, drop a thumbs up, like, share, comment, share this on Twitter, on Facebook. Do anything you can to help us out just as we helped you guys. But remember, we love every single one of you and I look forward to seeing you all on our next video. And until next time, take care guys.